juice. How far will I go to get it? <laughs> and she never won a Grammy. My next guest would still be someone very special to have on my first show. The fact that she's won four Grammys and two years ago, and she's now nominated for five more this year only means that the world has caught up a, a little late, I might add. Singing I Can't Make You Love Me off her new album, here's Bonnie Raitt.
You know, uh, sometimes showbiz just works. You know, I've been watching you for years. I've always loved you, and uh, it's just great to see somebody who sticks to their guns finally get their just desserts like you. Thank it's you really. Uh, yeah. Now, I'm wondering how you summon up the angst to sing that sound anymore, because your life's going great guns, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, well, I have a good memory for that kind of pain. <laughs> it's you know, that pain tattoo. Yeah, you know, they always say when you're a blues singer, you know, if your life ever gets happy, look out. But thank God, you remember, you remember the stuff that hurts and most of the other stuff you forget. So. Yeah. Now, you got an old man now, huh? I love that phrase. I don't usually use it, but it just seems like you'd be cool enough to say, yeah, that's yeah, my old yeah, man. No, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the permanent version this time. Yeah. Right? He's such a sweet guy. I used to see him at Saturday Night Live parties. He would come in once in a while. I always thought your husband was, before I even knew who he was, just a real, he's a gentle soul, isn't he? Yeah, nice Michael's guy. Yeah, great. And he's on tour in a play right now, so we're, I just finished six months of nonstop touring, thinking we would finally have a couple of months together, and now he got a five-month tour and a, and a national tour of A Few Good Men, which is a, mm -hmm. something I was starring in for a while. And, <laughs> The joke, but, but uh, <laughs> anyway, well, I guess I'll be commuting to visit him now. He's a great guy. Hi, Michael, if you're watching. Her husband, of course, Michael Nesmith from the Monkees. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> and your dad, this is that, that has to be the ultimate uh, thrill. Like, I think all little girls must think of their dad as a big star, like in their own heart. And finally, your dad's uh, getting his own star on the Hollywood Hall of Walk of Fame. That's neat, huh? Exactly. And he's here, John. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you told me he gets to pick the spot out, right? Because that's a pretty cheesy part of town right now, isn't it? Well, they're working on it, you know, but I'm sure it's been a long time before he, uh, since he had walked up and down the street. He, and uh, I think here between Walter Matthau and Tony Randall is a nice thing to split up an odd couple like that in Hollywood, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, I went to see him play Saturday night. He did a concert and just laid me right out. Best singer I've ever heard. Oh, like, that's a nice thought. Thank you for coming on, Bonnie. I appreciate it. We'll be right back with Christian Slater, folks. Bonnie Ray. Yeah.